If you've watched any of my videos, you have probably seen that I am an avid user of BubbleCard. Today BubbleCard was updated to version 1.5, and this is the first time we've got an update that needs our attention. If we just update and don't edit our cards, it will break our dashboard. So let's update to version 1.5 together. As you'll see from the release notes, we need to add the pop-ups as a module to our configuration.yaml file. So let's copy this code and open our configuration file. Paste it in at the top under the front end section. Save the file and go into the hacks store in your Home Assistant. The update didn't show up for me so I did a restart of Home Assistant. And then it showed up. Open the update window and click the update button. It will tell you to reload. But according to the release notes, we also need to restart Home Assistant, so let's restart once more. If you go into your dashboard after the restart, you will see that all your pop-up cards are broken. So let's go into our card editor and update to the new correct code. All we need to do is to replace the first two lines of code to the new updated code from the release notes. Copy this code and paste it into your cards code. You'll see that the error message disappears and the pop-up should now work like before. You can see that I have a fair few pop-ups in my dashboard. So here I am, just fast forwarding through the editing process of each one. Once you've edited all your pop-ups, make sure that they are all working. This is a pretty simple update to do, but it is important to pay attention when new updates are released. According to the developer, this should make the pop-ups perform much better, especially for people that use camera feeds inside of the pop-ups. Thanks for watching. I will be back with my regular style of content next week. Until then.